this is okay so if you're wondering how to be part of my channel wait till the end of this video and I'll be at the end of it. I, I already talked about it before now but that, that took four minutes already so I'm gonna put that in my video um, so yeah and this is actually a real this is a really good way to be part of it and get your name out so if, if you want you can actually just fast forward to four minutes I mean or whatever whatever like four minutes before the end of this video um so okay so guys what's up top it ups everywhere this is a case review on a very very interesting case by default case their link will be down in the description they sent this out to me for review nothing fancy came in the packaging besides this in a plastic bag no paper no nothing it came like this in a plastic bag and that was it we want to know why this case costs 0 0.01 i wonder if they're still doing it 0 0.01 cents hold on default Case.com, or I think that's that it? yeah it is okay. Let it load. Um, iPhone four one cent. Aha! It is one cent. So it's point zero one dollars cents to buy a case for your iPhone four. And they have colors. Ooh, they have really cool. They have orange, blue, green. Oh, wow, I like the green one. And I like the blue. These blue ones. Sorry. <laughs> they have a bunch of different colors, and these run you point zero one cents. I think free shipping. Let me see. I don't know if um the shipping is free. Oh, I guess shipping might be free. Anyways, um this is this was sent out to me by defaultcase.com. Their link again will be in the description. Um really weird. I, I bumped into this, I was like, what? A cent for a case? There's gotta be something wrong with it. There's you know, there's gotta be some like design flaw or something, or like they're giving away this like what's up with this? Um, but let's just let me just put it on. Do have a Griffin reveal? Awesome case. Get that if you haven't. So uh, well, let me explain the case first. It's a really really thin snap-on back case for your iPhone 4. Um, it's perforated all along here. I thought it would look really really cool, especially on a black phone. You can kind of see like the logo-ish. You still know it's an iPhone. Blah blah blah. Um, and it's really, really thin. So in terms of scratch protection, sure you might get some if like a sharp object gets in one of the holes and you're you're completely screwed over. But uh, for normal dings and stuff like that, you're perfectly fine. Um, drop protection. Do not drop this in this case. You will cry and I will cry because you'll probably post a video and I will ball my eyes out. So <laughs> this is a snap-on case for the iPhone 4. Once it's on, you see it's extremely ridiculously thin. Still keeps a very nice form factor. Nothing much changed. You got a very nice feel now. It's like, you know, the perforated feel. Camera hole is surprisingly very, very nice. They could move it over to the left a tiny bit. Um, doesn't obstruct the flash as much as it could, um, which is good. On the top, you see you have everything open. No problems with the headphone jack or the power button. On the left, you have a very, very, actually one of the best cutouts I've seen for the volume um, buttons. Actually, kind it's kind of like... Since it's so thin, it really, really works, and it feels just like the real thing, and it, it protects it all the way. Same with the vibrate switch, very, very easy to get to. Very nice job on the buttons there. Um, on the bottom, you have very good access to your speakers and nothing there, and on, um, and your 30 pin jack. Along the sides, you can see that it does come up past the screen, which is good, which technically should give you a lay on the table design, but I'll show you that in two seconds. So, now on to the, so you're thinking, wow, this must be like that perfect case. It's 0.1 cents. If you want to snap on back case, go out and grab it. Cool, awesome, thank you. Um, no, hold on. <laughs> you notice this right here? Look at that. You notice how, oh, wait a minute. Whoa, that's weird. That, that seems to, uh, mm, mm, what, what is going on here? Look. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This one seems to be fine. That's all straight. What the F is going on with this? Do you see this? Huge mistake. I think it might just be mine. I don't know if it's just mine. If you guys have gotten this case already, please tell me if it's just mine or if yours acts like this too. But this thing is not fully on my phone. As you can see, there's something wrong with the plastic. It won't form to my phone. It forms nicely to the left side, but this right side is just popping out. It's very, very loose. And even if you look at it from the side, you can see that there you go. This side is actually bent out like this, and the whole case came like that. Um, I don't know if it's just mine, but please, default case, fix that. Even though it is only 0 .01 cents, this I'm afraid to even like carry around my phone in this because look at this. It's it barely hangs on by like a thread to my phone. It barely hangs on to the metal plastic. 
or metal part of the phone. You see that? Um, so that's a huge little thing. I mean, if you're looking for a really, really cheap case, this will get the job done, but just be warned that this might fall off and completely ruin your life <laughs> um, in a matter of seconds. And plus, this thing already has cracked on me. I don't know what happened, but it cracked on me somewhere. Where is it? Oh, you heard it? There it is. It cracked in the middle, and I'm kind of disappointed, but it's okay. Um, for But for point zero one cents, holy crap, go out and get this case if you haven't already. Um, just be warned that it might your case might come like this and completely not fit to your phone correctly. Other than that, highly recommend this case since it is only one cent. Why in the hell not? I think free shipping too. Go out and grab it. Very fast shipping. Tons of different colors. Um, it's iPod Ups Ever. I'll see you guys around. Coming up is how to be part of my channel. That's actually a great way, so stick around. Thanks to Fall Case. Link will be in the description. See you guys later. I'm looking for one person or two, one or two, um, who will do my new series, um, the uh, best app of the week. And so you'll be getting opinions from um, you know a couple different people. So actually, you know what? Here's an even better idea. I just thought of this. If you want to be part of this, um, every week by, I want to say, hmm, Saturday night, send me a video, an app review, um, and I'll pick one. If I, if, I, if I find a really good one, I'll pick one, and I'll upload it as the best app out of the week. So you'll be getting a lot of different other people's opinion, maybe, and it'll help also get your name out once in a while, because I'll put your link in the description, and it'll be on my channel, get lots of views. Um, so if you want to be part of that, just... This is actually, I just thought of this, wow, I'm, I'm a genius. Um, so send me a link, I mean, not send me a link, send me a video file um, uh, to my email. Actually, send it to suggestiae at gmail.com. That email will be down in the description because I don't really, I guess I'll just use that email because I don't want to overflow with my regular email with all these uh, videos. Um, but send me a video there or upload it to some like mega file or something so I can download it if uh, the email won't let you send up that big of a file. Um, keep it below five minutes. Make sure you say guest review for iPod apps everywhere um, so it's not copyrighted or something like that crazy. Um, and please let it make it high quality. I mean, come on. You want people to watch your videos, they've got to be pretty good quality. Um, and talk clearly and all that fun junk. So, if you want to be part of this, uh, just every week by Saturday night, you know, actually just by Saturday, just before Monday, send me a video to my suggest ie at gmail.com down there, and you will be ha you'll have a chance to um, be the best app of the week video for that week. And it's, it'll just be app reviews, and it can be iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, anything really, just an app for Apple products. Hell, actually, it can be apps for and no, no, I'm just kidding. Apple products. <laughs> ha, almost got you. Um, but yeah, so do that, and that's actually will be a really good idea. And I'll post your info down there. You'll get views. You'll get um, you know, uh, I'll put your channel link down there. It'll. It's a great way to get your name out. And so yeah, do that. You want to be part of my channel? You can do that. Of course, I'll still make videos, but of course, I can't do that many. I'm so overflowed with work. Um, so yeah, be part. If you want to be part of this thing. Send me a link by tomorrow or Saturday or just before Monday. Don't not Saturday, not Sunday night, because that's just you know. Come on, come on. Um, so I have a time to look through all of them, pick one I kind of like, um, and I'll post that on Monday or Sunday night, whenever, whatever day, whatever day. Tell me what day you guys would like to see this best app of the week video. Actually, I just you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna put this at the end of the video. Um. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? What else? Um, so yeah, another great way to become part of my channel. This I'm actually going to do. I always say things that I, that I don't do. it. I hate doing that. So this is an action I'm going to do. So send me a video by Saturday or whenever before Monday, not Sunday night, please, preferably, um, of an app review. Keep it below five minutes. Um, say, you know, guest review for iPod apps everywhere. And I'll put, you know, the best app of the week and I'll upload it to my channel that week. So there you go. Be part of my channel. You can do that. Okay, now on to the uh, case review.